Welcome to the MPC Lounge. Within this workflow tutorial, we're going to have a look at some of the brand new effects inside our latest update for MPC Standalone and Software 2.4, bringing you 28 high quality studio effects designed by Air Music Technology. These effects will range from compressors, channel strips, phase-in flanging, high quality delays and reverbs, and by popular demand, sidechain compression. We've also added brand new UIs with LED metering, giving you visual feedback. You will also notice that all cue links are mapped to each of the effects plugin, giving you hands-on control. To add another effect is very straightforward. Click on your inserts, find an empty slot, and select an effect, and press select. Now we're going to select the pumper, which emulates side chaining. So we simply go to our effects inserts, select the pumper, and add this. We press the pencil icon to edit, and now I can see the graphical UI. As you can see on the plugin, this gives us a lot of control. We can control the depth, we can adjust the release and shape, the speed, the trigger offset, sculpture the sound as we like. Now let's open up the filter gate. This is a great plugin to add movement to any drum track. As you can see, I'm adjusting the wet and dry signal and this is running on a 16th note rate. Now let's open up our effects on our vocal channel. As you can see, we have the air delay. And again, I'm adjusting the wet and dry signal. Now let's add a reverb. As soon as we go into our edit, our cue links are automatically mapped. I'm also triggering my stems using the clip launch mode in MPC Live. This has also had an update, now allowing you to move between tracks and programs whilst the clips will continue playing. Now let's go to our master channel and add the air compressor. Turn it on, press edit, and now you can see the brand new LED metering with gain reduction, along with your typical controls such as threshold, ratio, output, and mix. 